it's the what is up with the timing dude every time you oh what the hell i didn't get to film it So we hit a uh, hundred thousand subscribers. Honestly, I don't really know what to say. Everything still kind of feels like surreal, but I just want—I just want to thank you guys. It's been absolutely unreal the growth that's happened recently, and I just—I no, I don't know. It's crazy, man. But anyways, for a hundred thousand subscribers, I'm going to do a Q&A. And if you guys want to be involved in things like this in the future, follow my Instagram because that's where I said I was going to do this. So I have all my Instagram DMs ready to go, and let's just answer these questions. All right, first question: How do you get your beats heard? Whether it's uploading tight beats or uploading on SoundCloud, just try and do something that no one is doing because that's the only way you'll separate yourself and another thing is you need to be very consistent you need to have like a goal in mind when you're uploading your beats but yeah i'd say just upload a beat every day work on music every day and just keep getting better keep uploading and it'll, you'll just get them heard eventually is your name really my no does young metro trust you i, I hope he does man what's your favorite plugin to use um I don't know. My favorite plugin. I don't think I really have one, honestly. I don't think I have a favorite plugin. Alright, this guy says, Hello, A Mai. What inspires you to make beats and how I'm thinking saying how long ago you started making beats and I love your videos. I just love music. If you ask anyone around me, I just I'm always listening to music. Like it's kind of weird. If I'm not listening to music, I'm probably dead. And I started making beats in the beginning of high school, like just as a joke, like with my friends. I'm pretty sure that's how everyone starts. And then when I left high school junior year, I started taking it a little bit more seriously. And yep. How tall are you? So I wouldn't say I'm short. I'm like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, I'm not the tallest, but I'm not like a, I'm not short. I'm not that short. I'm short as fuck. What was your inspiration to start a YouTube channel and keep it going? Love your channel, by the way. Congrats on 100K. There's so many inspirations for me to start YouTube. First off, I'm always on it. Second off, I love music. And this is around the time where YouTube producers were really blowing up, like Sharp, Aries, Ramsoy, people like that. So just seeing the explosion of all that really made me inspired to start my own. Because I feel like I have a lot more to offer than just making beats. And that's why I started YouTube, basically. How long have you been producing for like four years how often do you beat your meat like a good five why are you such a fire beat maker i honestly think i'm ass i don't know if that's just how uh, everybody thinks but i do not think i'm good at all honestly why does my only have 100k i don't know but i feel like that's really good for how long i've been doing it. i've only been doing for like i've only been doing youtube for five to six months so i think 100k in five to six months for a youtube producer is pretty good are you planning on doing a collab with any youtubers and if so why well, I mean, because I just want to work with people, but yeah, I'm like talking to a bunch of the other YouTube producers. It's all like a pretty cool little community. We all like talking shit. And since I live in LA, everyone's trying to come to LA, so we're probably going to meet up and stuff like that. When is the fucking Banana Boy mixtape coming out? It's not. I love your videos and keep it up. By the way, where were you born? I was born in Los Angeles, Woodland Hills area, if you guys are familiar with that. But yeah, I've lived the same place my whole life. Who inspired you to start making beats? Also, who are your favorite artists and producers? I'd say that one person in specific, if you guys haven't already known, that inspired me to start making beats it has to be Wonder Girl. When I found her beats and like her music and like seeing like her on like Battle of the Beat Makers, it just I can't even explain the feeling that she gave me. So yeah, my favorite artists and producers. For producers, I'd say Wonder Girl, K Tronada, J Rob, if you guys know who that is. I have so many, but those I'd say those are my top three. Favorite artists? Favorite artists is too hard. I listen to so much music, I can't even tell you that. If you could switch brains with another producer, who would it be? 110% Frank Dukes. He's the god of, he's just like the greatest person alive, I swear in my life. What would it take for you to suck a, suck a, how did you learn to make beats? YouTube and practice. Q and A, baby, what's your favorite ad lib? I don't think the baby was necessary. Favorite ad lib has to be X's one. Oh my. What made you decide on Fruity Loops as a dog rather than any of the other ones like Logic or Ableton? I don't know why I started using FL Studio, but I mean, I mean, most of my favorite producers use it. Like Wonder Girl, Boy Wanda, Vinyls, they all use FL, so. I tried using Ableton for like a month and it was just way, way too confusing, so I just did. How did you get the name Mai? My name is actually the month of May in Hebrew because I was born on May 18th, so yeah. If you can pick one artist that you can work with, who would it be? I mean, if you guys know the channel, you should probably know who that is already. What's your favorite approach to starting a beat? I cannot make a beat unless I'm feeling super inspired. Like, I have to be feeling something within me to make a, like, a decent beat. So, 
It all starts with inspiration for me. What do you consider to be your strengths and weaknesses as a producer? For example, strength, sampling, weakness, making melodies. My strengths, I think, personally, are my drums, and weaknesses are like my melodies and arrangement. What do you do if you have beat block? Listen to music. Take a break. Do not make any music if you have beat block. And don't go back to your DAW until you get inspired or you, you feel something again. Honestly, that's what I have to say. Beat block sucks. I know it does. We all get it. The best way to get through it is to just stop and just listen to music and just get inspired again. Are you going to be a YouTuber and producer for the rest of your life or you aren't sure yet well I hope that's the case but honestly I'm not sure yeah I'm still super young would you recommend to make beats spontaneously in like 30 minutes and start making another one or spend like three to four hours on the beat I think the best beats that we all have are made in like 15 minutes so yeah for me when I have a good beat the whole process is like super smooth it takes like max like 30 minutes so I feel like if you're stuck on a certain beat it might just not be the one how did you come up with my well there's this thing called being very uncreative and yeah, that's exactly how it happened. All right, now I'm gonna move over to Twitter because I also had you guys ask questions there. Yo, my real talk, no bullshit. You gay? All right, I'm gonna get off Twitter. All right, so I think that's gonna wrap it up for the Q&A. Thank you guys for sending in your questions. If you enjoyed this, I might do another one. And once again, thank you guys so, so much for 100,000 subscribers. I, like, I can't even, as you can tell, I don't even look like I'm excited because it just doesn't like feel real yet, at least for me. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Peace out, dog. Tits.